Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos that I post. And in today's video, I just wanted to kind of take you along to decorate my house for fall. Usually I like to decorate um, on my birthday, which is August 29th, but I wasn't able to do that this year. So now I'm just getting around to doing it. So I'm just gonna kind of share with you a couple of things that I got. I do want to keep it very minimalistic because I don't like to have a lot of things in my house um, just collecting dust you know and I just like to make it look pretty with um, just a couple of things here and there um, this video is gonna be a vlog style and like voiceover type of video so I hope you guys enjoy it and now let's get on into the video So I dug around in my stuff and this is just kind of the things that I pulled out I have all that I'm gonna decorate here in the living room with which is like my rose gold stuff and stuff that's here for my bedroom I might do like this off-white type of radon color with this pumpkin here and possibly that one and then maybe in the kitchen I'll just kind of stick with um, the orange color but I'm not too sure yet I still think I have a couple of more things around which I'm gonna go look for that and then I'll be right back okay so I'm back now and yeah I did find a couple of things like these I do have a few fall candles and then my Ray Dunn ones. I do have a lot of these because I like the way these smell. And then I have a candle holder. So now let's just kind of see how we're going to decorate. So of course we got to make it smell like fall before we get started. And these are the wax melts that I'm using. I purchased those at Walmart. Um, a couple years back but they still smell awesome if you can find those I would highly suggest getting those because they smell super good so starting off here in the living room I'm just getting uh, rid of the throw pillows and the throw blankets to put my rose gold throw pillows that my beautiful mother-in-law made for me which again thank you for making those for me the only thing that I'm really missing here is like a throw blanket. I'm still on the hunt for like a wine deep red color throw blanket. I might just purchase one on Amazon but I think that would complete the look and hopefully in the years to come we can get newer couches to really match like the decor I put. On my coffee table I'm just putting on my candle here and putting the topper to it which is so cute. I did feel like it was missing something though so I found these faux leaves and I just placed them right under and put my candle back on top. And then our TV stand, I kept it simple and put this pumpkin on it. I do want to re-glitter that stem to rose gold. And then of course I have all my Halloween movies out because I'm going to be bin watching those. So now moving on to our bedroom and I'm going to be working with our dresser area which again I like to keep everything minimalistic so I'm just removing this candle holder and replacing it with this pumpkin one that I got and I'm adding a leaves candle to it and it has just the cutest top I got this about six years ago at Bath and Body Works and I wanted to add a little bit of more pumpkin so right next to our picture frame I just added this burlap pumpkin that I got at the Dollar Tree last year okay so I have an area kind of by where the bathroom's at and I want to do something with this area and like on this wall so I do have a couple of these Ray Dunn uh, pumpkins so I just want to kind of turn them around maybe I'll leave some like this but I want to create like a little pumpkin patch right there and then put something on that wall so I'm gonna do that now and see how it turns out all right so this is kind of how I positioned the pumpkins and I did turn them around um, so the lettering doesn't show and it kind of goes with just being that kind of off-white color and now I'm gonna do something with this wall right here so let's see what I come up with and then the colors that I'm gonna kind of go with is this off-white and gold in our bedroom all right so I also have these gold letters that spell out fall so I'm just gonna try to attempt to put them on 
the wall. I don't know exactly how because I want to see if tape will work on this, but we'll see how that turns out. If not, I'm going to have to find another way to put them, maybe a nail or something on them. Not too sure, but let's see how it turns out. All right, so I found some command strips and hopefully that holds. I cut them into pieces because I wasn't going to have enough. So I'm hoping this works. So now we're just going to stick it on the wall just like this. So this is how the wall turned out. I absolutely love it and I hope that those don't fall off of the wall, but it looks like the command strips are holding it pretty well. So I just absolutely love this whole little section. And I did want to add just a couple of more pumpkins here by our picture. But that is it. That is the minimalistic fall decorate with me. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.